Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I have a foundation review for you guys. As the weather has changed, so has my skin, and now I am back to my regular oily self. So, of course, I've been looking for a new foundation to help control that oiliness. And I know that even though I buy primers or foundations to help with my oiliness, I'm still going to be oily because it's just inevitable. However, I do like to buy things to help control that. So I was in Sephora and I'm walking around looking for a foundation and I remembered about um, Smashbox. I was recommended to try this foundation a while ago, but I never did because I wasn't familiar with it. So I just decided to go with a brand that I was more familiar with. Anyway, I decided to pick it up. And this is what it looks like. And what made me buy this foundation was reading what they claim it does on the box while I was still in the store. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you guys just so you know why I picked it up. Because it was just like, yes, I found my foundation. Anyway, it says, stay flawless for a full 15 hours with our breakthrough long wearing formula. Inspired by onset demands developed for your life, skin is hydrated and shine free while imperfections are blurred with light diffusing spheres. I didn't really care about all that stuff. What I did care about was buildable medium to full coverage, water, sweat, humidity, and transfer resistant oil free. When I saw the word humidity, I was like, um, yes, please, I'm going to take that. Because we all know that the summers here in New York are on another level of humid. And that is what really gets my skin like on another level of oily. So when I read that, I said, no, I have to try this. I have to pick it up. I got to see if this really works because it will be a lifesaver for me. So I bought it and... Besides today, I put it on one time, so this is not like a complete first impression because I have tried it once because I was so excited about it. But all I have to say is that from that first time that I put it on, I couldn't stop looking in the mirror. Like, I loved how my face looked. It just looked so matte. And it looked, but it didn't look like matte, like that I was stiff or dry or anything. It just looked so, it looked like, you know, like makeup should just look. It just looked amazing. Like, I couldn't get enough of it. Like, I really, really, really loved it. But I wanted to reapply it for you guys and like, you know, really keep note on, you know, as the hours pass by during the day on how the makeup is looking, if it's holding up, if I'm feeling kind of greasy, if it's breaking up, if it's accentuating my pores, things like that. So I wanted to show you guys me applying it initially and I applied it on one side of my face with a beauty blender and then I'm going to also apply it on the other side of my face with a brush just so you guys can see and so I can see if there's a difference between what works best, if the coverage is better using the blender or using a brush, etc. And I also wanted to, you guys to see, you know, how it just evens out my skin while I'm applying it without anything else on top of the foundation, just the foundation itself. Um, I, I applied this foundation at nine o'clock in the morning and now I've had it on for about four and a half hours. You know, I have it on right now. Um, I have been cooking, I have been taking care of my kids, I have been cleaning, so I haven't just been sitting still, I have been working a lot and, you know, building up a sweat, so I wanted to see how this foundation really held up. Um, initially applying it with the Beauty Blender, um, I felt like, okay, this is going on a little bit kind of dewy looking, instead of like looking matte. Um, but then it sets r really quickly. like when I touch my face after and even touching it now like after having this on for over four hours my face doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel oily it doesn't feel anything it just feels like my skin like I don't feel like I have any type of makeup on and um, my face doesn't feel heavy at, at all and my true test when I have foundation on is like I like to pat here on my nose and if I look at my hands and they usually I, I go like this and I'll look at my finger and it'll look wet like I just dipped my my hands in like olive oil or something because that's how oily I, I get so I always like to test it out by tapping my nose area and definitely my chin and my forehead those are the areas where I get excuse me greasy um, but right now I haven't blotted I didn't even set my foundation with powder and I am not greasy at all like at all anywhere that you might see a like a glisten that's just my highlight that's not oiliness like let me get closer my face is not greasy the slightest bit like it's unbelievable 
how amazing this foundation really is and the day that i actually wore it the first time it was really humid today is not really humid at all but still since i've been so active you know i'm working and i'm producing oil so a, a foundation could get oily on you but um that first day that i did wear it it was humid 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 and my face did not get greasy at all so anyway going back to the application process um i loved how the foundation looked um applying it with the beauty blender and i also loved it with the brush the only thing the only difference excuse me um i've had a little cough lately the only difference is that i feel like if i wanted more coverage i would go more with the brush because since it's so dense it definitely like packs on foundation more but being that i don't you know i normally don't need to have like this crazy full coverage type of look going on i'll probably still be using the beauty blender but both tools apply the foundation really nicely it blends out really nicely the let me take this out of the packaging this is what it looks like anyway out of the packaging i love that it has a, a pump of course because it's you know sanitary and way more easy to use and you don't have to waste so much product but this foundation um it's not runny at all it's not super thick like it does move it's not like a mousse um or anything let me just dab a pump here you see it's just you know just like any normal foundation it's definitely nice and blendable it goes on so smoothly um from what i know in terms of like the colors they i guess they're a little bit more on like the yellowish undertone kind of thing so i have read that people with like really pale skin might have a little bit of difficulty finding a match but you know you can always mix it with something else maybe to get your like perfect match or you know maybe you do find something for you if you're more on the pale side but if you're more on the side of yellow tones or olive undertones you should be able to find a perfect match for you this is a perfect match for me i am in the color 3.2 um it's just awesome guys i really really give this a thumbs up um so far it has held up to what the box says it does um definitely decrease oiliness under humidity and you know i don't sweat really on my face like that so i'm not gonna say anything about the sweating thing but definitely with humid weather it held up really 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 well and today i've had this on for over four hours and like i said i haven't blotted i, ha I didn't set my foundation with any powder and this is what it looks like after all the things that i've been doing so it really 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 holds up i'm so happy with it I'm definitely happy I finally tried this. I really recommend it for you guys, especially if you have oily skin. Um, another thing is that this holds up so amazing just on its own. Like, I don't have a mattifying primer under this. I have just a regular, like, pore minimizing primer. So I can just imagine even how more amazing this is going to look when I use a mattifying primer under it. So that's something else to take into consideration. If you have normal skin and you use this, you're going to be good to go because you don't have to worry about, really, you don't have to worry about any oiliness. Um, and if you have dry skin, I think this is really good too because like I said, it blends really well. And oh, another thing I wanted to mention is I like to notice on my forehead like how a foundation blends because usually, I don't know why, but on my forehead, I feel like my foundations don't like soak in like smooth and like flawlessly i feel like all over my face everything looks fine but then on my forehead when i really look close into a mirror i um i tend to have not patches not dry patches but i don't know i just feel like it doesn't soak in properly and with this foundation on both sides having used the brush or the blender i looked it at really close up into my forehead and it looked so good like it looked really flawless and i'm just so happy about that i'm just really really happy with everything with this foundation i like the consistency of it i like my my color match to it i like how it holds up i like the fact that i don't have to set it and i'm one that always sets my my liquid foundations with powders so i'm just overall really happy definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a foundation to help you stay matte definitely um get a sample from sephora and try this out because so far for me it's working wonders so i give it a big thumbs up guys so yeah, these are my thoughts on this foundation, guys. I hope it helps you out if you're on the market for a new foundation. And if I have any other thoughts on it, I will let you know in another video. 
but I really think I'm going to stick with this one because so far it's awesome and like I said I haven't even used a mattifying primer with it so I'm just even more excited to try that and I'll let you know how that works out so thank you so much for watching guys um I will see you guys in my next video and if you like this one please give it a big thumbs up and like I said thank you so so much for watching bye guys